McNeil. I'll be speaking about my exhibition, a series of meditations on the complexities of life, uh, showing at Part 2 Gallery in Oakland, California. And so there is this harmony that is happening in the, uh, in the work that's kind of like helped me find this like calmness through this like absurdity and this like absurd world and kind of helping all that stuff balance and, and become a little bit more cohesive kind of just helps stabilize everything. You know, I used to, when I was a kid, I would, uh, would always like draw my brothers in these really exaggerated forms and, and would give them big lips or, you know, specific features and they hated it, but I kind of still do that stuff now and explore that stuff now because it's always just, it wasn't really, I was teasing them or anything, it was just kind of like I was trying to understand how form worked or how, you know, you can still communicate a mouth with, you know, specific shapes or, you know, line, you know, simple things like that. It kind of helps gives me this, it helps gives me this, this structure to everything. Um, I kind of clearly define form, composition, kind of get to lay all that out and then I just iterate from there, kind of, you know. In my graphic visualization, you're kind of always drawing form and then kind of pushing it, making it believe, making it believable or making it something different. That was just by little, small little tweaks and they kind of, you know, like a curve just means something. Um, and I kind of keep that, those thoughts with me when I'm exploring and when I'm scaling up and when I'm taking, you know, I take my sketches and I work from there and I work, when I work bigger, when I lay it out, you know, it isn't exactly, isn't always the same but I get to explore from there because I still keep like like the structure of say a head in a portrait and the shoulders that remains how that manifests itself with how I'm exploring light through the painting or how I'm exploring shadow and how that gets pushed it pulled forward or how different parts of the figure kind of take shape or those that kind of just it's a little bit more of the free flow art process. Yeah, yeah. You can notice that some there's um, elements of space being implied in depth and having, being able to explore that uh, using color instead of just light and shadow specifically, uh, but also having this color, this harmony kind of, color harmony kind of help um, navigate the viewer within that space throughout the canvas. So this exhibition is called A Series of Meditations on the Complexities of Life. That's pretty much just how I've um, kind of navigated myself through um, 2020 as a whole. And we all started to kind of be in this shelter in place types of situation, type of situation. Um, we all kind of dealing with, you know, loss of jobs, a loss of, um, sense of normalcy in society, a loss of our routines, um, and luckily I had this practice to kind of uh, help explore and like guide me through it, um, because as, you know, as time went on, you know, we all thought it was going to be a short time, and it became longer, and as the length of it came on, they all new challenges just kept surfacing left and right, and kind of um, dealing with the weight of all of it, um, I was able to, you know, kind of like take those challenges and sit with them as I'm sitting with my work, as I'm kind of trying to make sense of, of, of some of these uh, complexities that we've, that's how it's described, it's because of life's, life's complex moments and these like absurdities that we kind of all have been enduring and you know how, um, and being able to, to use painting as a way to as a meditative practice um, to kind of help me make sense of stuff. You know, I think the most fun part of part of all this work has been able to kind of have a palette and explore that that palette in that way, um, and see how you can take some how you can how can how color can help navigate you through a canvas. It can take maybe like you shift the blue of a face on this side and, and then that blue kind of 
harmoniously works with a different type of green or a different type of yellow, maybe on the other side of canvas and that, you can kind of help push and help move like the work and the viewer in the space in a different way and how, how you know, some colors recede against another color or some colors come forward and go back and um, that push and pull um, uh, relationship between um, color and form and all that um, gets to kind of resolve itself right there in canvas.